עכשיו לאפגניסטן שנשלטת שוב על ידי הטליבן, המונים מנסים לעלות על המטוסים שעוזבים את שדה התעופה של כאבול כדי להימלט מפני השלטון החדש, הזכור לרע. לפני שעה קלה אנחנו שוחחנו עם העיתונאית האוסטרלית הולי מקיי, שנמצאת באפגניסטן. Good evening, Ajad. According to the footage we are receiving, a lot of Afghanians are trying to evacuate, just to run away. Absolutely, and it's, it's absolutely terrifying for a lot of Afghans. They've spent years working to support the United States and taking government positions, and I think they really took great pride in those. And now, all of a sudden, just overnight, quite literally, their lives are being put on the line. And it's, I'm not surprised, and it's just heartbreaking to see that footage. But there are so many, so many people that, whose lives are just being completely upended. And I think if I was them, I would be doing whatever I could to get out as well. Now, Taliban are taking over. Can you explain what is the meaning of Taliban taking over and ruling Afghanistan again? The Taliban has more control in 2021 of Afghanistan than it had in 2001. So that's, that's a very shameful um, and embarrassing statistic. But what that essentially means now is that women and men are, are essentially losing a lot of their freedom. So they're going back to this very, very stringent Islamic rule. So for women, uh, who I think have the most to lose, uh, you can't step out of your house unless you're fully covered in a burqa. You always have to have a male companion with you. Schooling will often finish when they hit adolescence. And you'll only really ever see men in the street. And even for men, it's the, it's the basic freedoms of being able to go out at night and music and lots of things like that that are now forbidden. So it's basically going into an Islamic law. And You know, Holly, uh, we uh, here in Israel, part of the Middle East, we used to say that uh, Afghanistan or Taliban equal spreading terror. Uh, what should we expect from now? There are more than 20 terrorist groups operating on Afghan soil at the moment. So I can't imagine that the Taliban is going to be able to, A, kick them off or really control every movement that they make. Um, so... And then also you have to look at the school curri curriculums are going to be drastically changed overnight, which are going to be a lot more uh, heavy into the religious um, aspect of it. And so it, it's hard for me to think that if that's the education that so many of uh, young boys will be getting, that that won't be also a breeding ground for terrorism in the future. Holly McKay in Afghanistan, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me.